morning and happy Easter. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do Yorkshire puddings, Tracy's Kitchen way. It's really, really simple. You don't need scales. You just need a mixing jug. Um, now in this jug I've just put flour, plain flour. This makes about 12 Yorkshires. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little line. Now there's about 250 mils worth of flour in there. So I'm not prepared. I need my sieve. So I'm going to sift my flour. Very important that you sieve it. And then you can use that again later. Uh, and salt, a nice big glug of salt. And then we we'll use the same jug, same jug for eggs. And again, I'm just going to take the eggs up to the line. It'll probably take about five or six, I reckon. I need to make sure five it's going to take. I'm going to have to make sure I've got enough eggs left. I'm going to do a carrot cake later. And then whisk. I'm not prepared at all. Sorry. <laughs> whisk. State of that. <laughs> So whisk your eggs up to that line and then mix that in with your flour. Give it a little whisk. Not quite Saturday Kitchen Live, but Saturday Kitchen recorded because I've got to do it in a couple of bits because obviously this mix needs to set in the fridge for a couple of hours to allow the gluten to work on the flour. If you try and put these in straight away, you'll end up with biscuits. And then milk, any milk, I just use green. Well, not green milk, the green top. Up to the line again, same line. And there you go, mix that in as well. And that's all there is to it. But you really do need to make this. I'd normally leave these overnight, but an hour or two will do. So the jug I've used to measure. I'm just going to pour that back in there. Put a cover over it and leave it in the fridge for an hour or two. Um, I've just bought a new Yorkshire pudding tray. Just a plain old muffin tray, non-stick. Had to buy a new one because all mine are at the pub. <laughs> and just... A little bit of oil in each one, about a good half a centimetre in each one. There you go. And then a hot oven near the top, but not so, so near the top so that the Yorkshire puddings hit the ceiling. Um, for about about two hundred and twenty degrees till your fat is red hot. And um, technology, I'll be back later. Bye. Hello again. Uh, this has been in the fridge now for about two to three hours. Just going to give it a little bit of a whisk up. If you leave it overnight, it might have a little bit of black scum on the top, but it'd be okay to just whisk it all back in. It'll absolutely be fine. And I'm just going to sieve it again, just in case it's got eggshell in it. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And my Yorkshire pudding trays with the oil in, it's been in the oven now for about 20 minutes on high. So, I hope you can see this. Red hot. So, I'll just push uh, that down a little bit so you can see. See the sizzle? Doing two full. I might only actually get 11 out of this. There you go. Now I'm going to put them back in the oven, but I'm not going to have them quite as hot as 220. I'm just going to turn them down to about 20. Sorry, 200. And I'll just keep my eye on them in the next five minutes, see if they're rising, and if they're uh, overcooking too quick, then I'll just turn the oven down. See you soon. Delicious. 
Right, these have been in 25 minutes now, so I'm going to get them out. They look all right. And what I'm just going to do is, I'm just going to turn them over, because there's still quite a lot of fat in the bottom of the tray. And I don't want them to get soggy bottoms. I'm just going to leave them. Obviously, I've washed my hands. And there you go. 11 beautiful Yorkshire puddings. Um, can you put your pictures of your Yorkies in the comments box? Thank you. And if you want any more recipes doing, and if I can do it, then give me a message. Thank you. See you soon. Keep safe. Bye.